hello. I was just saying goodbye, now I'm saying hello because we're in part two and we were looking back. And I was looking at some old palettes that kind of stimulated me to bye bye bye. <laughs> and we were at this point in the MAC section of my world. And these were the two palettes that uh, Makeup by Tiffany D had reviewed and I loved the packaging. I loved this bronze packaging. And I went and got both um, of the eye palettes. I got, uh, I don't think I got the blush, but I did get the bronzer. And I got a lipstick, which I adored and used up so fast. That's what I don't like about MAC lipsticks is that to me they're so creamy that they get used up really fast. But um, but anyway, and then I got into MAC because everybody was into MAC. They moved on from Coastal Scents and they'd moved to MAC. And um, so there was just some popular ones. And I went ahead and got me one of the uh, empty palettes and put in the names of the ones that I kept hearing were the most popular and those of you who know MAC really well probably know what those are but then I invested in a little bit more shimmers those were matte and then there was two more mattes and I just went back and looked and I think I bought almost the same thing look at that isn't that funny I think that's Ruben Rubenesque up there is, is um the different one but I think it's creme brulee I don't even know what these are I'm not going to pull them out and tell you but so that was kind of my MAC binge thing that I went on after Coastal Scents and after uh, Michelle Fawn. And then I started thinking back, you know, I was doing makeup way before then. <laughs> well, let me show you how far back. I remember going back to this. Do you guys remember this? Would you even know what that is? It's Mary Kay and she made palettes and people thought that was something else because she made palettes where you could take eyeshadow, blush, your brush tools, and a lipstick and have a very nice compact mirror. Look at that. Yeah, Mary Kay, you were ahead of your time, honey. Now she's uh, dancing with Jesus in heaven. But she also did her whole business so that women could work from home and still make a business in beauty. I just wonder... Did they ever get hooked on to YouTube where women can work at home and have YouTube channels and they can have Etsy shops and just all kinds of really cool things. I know a girl that just got shown in, um, was it Southern Living Magazine because uh, she posted her bedroom decor on Pinterest and she, it's a farmhouse, I think it's called My Farmhouse or whatever. And it was so cute that um, they came out and wanted to film her home. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, but do you see? Going back further than this, Mary Kay's signature, which is the silver and gold, I went back to the pink and gold. Does anybody remember the pink and gold Mary Kay? Y'all are probably too young for that. A couple of you aren't. A couple of you would know. But it was signature pink because women were pink. <laughs> look at that. And look how she did half shadows. Ooh. Look at that, the half shadows. So you get them more than one kind. And what's cool about this is it's all trade out. And then I got the big one. But see how that's um, actually the same shape as two of those back to back. So you can make this a whole bunch of eyeshadows. You could add blush or you could add powder. Uh, in the larger one, you could add, have all of it. The powder, the blush, highlighters, contour, everything. And it's about this size. It's about the size of two of these. And she's also got new uh, packaging for that I keep in my car because it's so easy. And it keeps a lip gloss in it. And uh, lipstick doesn't keep in a car because in the south it'll melt, but the lip gloss will. And then I looked back even further, and I found, no, wait a minute, this was, this was next. I found this. That was like my first luxury stuff. It was department store. It was Estee Lauder's Deluxe Pure Color Eyeshadow Palette. And y'all, she made a whole, she had a red leather, kind of like a snakeskin leather um, makeup um, cosmetic bag. Not, no, not like a piece of luggage, not not a bag like we're talking about. And to think what it cost back then and now, it would be like a couple hundred dollars. But, um, and these are the colors, and they're mostly matte, but there's also some shimmers. And just look at how good the color selection was. Even back then, they were just really good at putting it all together. And nowadays, I, there's no telling what this would cost. And it's still very pigmented, and I still love it. One of the main reasons I don't use it so much, and I've got to get over this, is I don't want to use it up. I love it so much. Do y'all do that? Do you have certain palettes you don't even touch because you love them so much? Like, you love the packaging so much? And then, um, one of the older ones, I, I was just fixing to clean this up, but I'm not. This was a brand made by Ultima 2 called The Nakeds. And just think how big that is now, the naked look. Um, this was a cheap color called Simply 
number six, and that was unheard of because back then you put a name to it. So the fact that they had diamond six, um, that would kind of tell you something about your complexion, is a very small and thin. Um, it was this beautiful color, cream and black uh, trim. It's got stuff all over it now. And look at that. That thing is just pure powder now because I dropped it and it was all crunched. And I love the color so much, I rarely used it. Let's see if I can put a little of it on. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. It was like a peachy plum. That's what I used to think of it as. How, how do we do here? Let me cut in with this. I'm doing this kind of awkward there. It cuts in pretty good still. It is kind of on the peachy side. And since I have that orangey on, that looks pretty good. We'll warm it up here. I feel like I'm shaving when I do that. Anyway, so that is like one of my oldest ones that I still use. A lot of them I just threw out because, you know, at some point your makeup's not healthy to keep using. But I still feel like some powders are fine to keep using. But anyway, so, and that kind of goes with my look today. I've kind of went with a tawny look. That's what we used to call it. Uh, now you might just call it orangey. <laughs> or peachy. And then another thing I wanted to tell y'all that um, it's actually rather old, but I, they still have this exact same one, and I would highly recommend getting it, is the um, Eyelash Curler by CoverGirl. And I want you to notice there is not that ridge, that obnoxious ridge that goes out. It's just straight, and that is so much easier on your lashes, and it gives such a better look. I'm not quite sure why the ones that have the ridge on it have it. Because it ridges it like, I, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. But I love this one. And I know y'all see me often use my Chanel one because um, the little the little bar is real short. But this one is too. And the good part about that is it's just, it gives a real good base once you hit your um, eyelid and your eyelashes just pop up for them to just fan against. And it's, it's, it's a really, and it does make a difference. And of course, these never get too old as long as the hinge is still working. Because you can always trade out these little rubber things. You know, you can always buy a new pack of them, and I always do. Or either I take a makeup wipe and wipe it down if I've just used it and I know I'm going to use it the next day or whatever. I always wipe it down because it, you don't want to get eye infections from reusing and getting, you know, old skin cells or maybe leftover makeup that we think we got that you really don't. You can tell. You've seen your eyelash curler when you take it off and you see some little stuff on there. And it's even if you're not wearing shadow, it's like, what's that? It's like, it's your dead skin cells, so wipe it down. But anyway, and it has the um, coated rubber for your fingers, not those little things that always pop out. Oh my gosh, those things irritate the fool out of me. So I absolutely love this one. And um, there is a fuzz or something on my nose that's driving me crazy. Oh, it's my hair. <laughs> we don't want my little hair to drive me crazy as much as I got left. We're just being very nice to it. So anyway... That was me going down memory lane with a bunch of really cool makeup and kind of how I got started in looking at YouTube videos and some of my favorite YouTube people because of it. Um, also, one of my reasons that they're my favorite YouTube videos is because I still to this day think they're the best. I still think the best on YouTube is Elle Fowler, um, Makeup by Tiffany D, and um, I have some new favorites. I really enjoy Tati. I remember I didn't want to, and I'm not sure why. I still have a little fuzz that's driving me crazy. Um, but I really like her, and I really feel like she knows what she's doing. So Tati here on YouTube, T-A-T-I, if you want to look her up. And Michelle Fawn, I still think, is very, very pro. She's She almost was thematic and theatrical in the way that she started and did videos. And, I, and people just really got to where they love to see her and her um, boyfriend. I wonder if they're fiancé or if they're going to get married. I forgot his name. B looks like a tall Italian model. They're just an adorable couple. Because she's so tiny and petite and short. Um, not Bo. What is his name? Anyway. They're really, really cute. And then I also have always enjoyed Candy Johnson. I don't know if it's Candy. I guess it's Candy, but it looks like Candy. It's C-A-N-D-E-E. -E. She's quite a makeup artist. When you look at hers, she's like Michelle Fine. When you look at their videos and their final looks, it looks like a professional painting not just doing makeup it's like my favorite one of candy's is where she does um a comic strip kind of a look where she uses dark black ink and paints half of her face with a man half with a woman it's kind of like a superman superwoman thing and that really shows you her artistry and she's a neat gal she's weathered the storm a lot of these ladies have um ellen blair fowler 
went through a lot and they accomplished so much. Oh my gosh, with their own books, their own makeup line and, and uh, perfume line and being sponsors to uh, just Fab and Audible and um, just... I think Elle now has her own um, Etsy shop. I don't think I know because I buy from it all the time. But really and truly, it's it's amazing. I think Blair's now getting into acting. and Because uh, you know what? They they grew up, right? You grew up. You grow older. Hello. But you're still young inside. I remember something my mom told me. She said, you know, you just wait till you get older and your body doesn't do what you want it to do. And like my hair coming out. And uh, she goes, but inside you're still you. You're still, you haven't changed a bit. And for you younger ones, I would tell you that is exactly so. Um, it's a little harder getting up and down. It's much harder to keep the weight off. Um, but you kind of like the weight because it fills out the wrinkles that are inevitable. And you feel like you shouldn't do YouTube videos anymore. But I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it up because you know what? I'm young at heart. Uh -huh. And no matter how old I get, I'm still enjoying makeup. Is there something wrong with that? I don't know. Anyway, it's not just makeup. It's interacting with you guys. I enjoy my plan with me so much that I'm spending hundreds of dollars on buying kits, but I love it. It's like a form of artwork or I guess when people do that scrapbooking or stuff like that, it's just fun. And um, I'm going to be doing, you know, some people do other kinds of channels. I'm going to be doing a uh, Bible with Bethy time. And uh, enough of you said that you would be interested in that, so I'm going to do that on Sunday nights. If you don't like it, you don't have to tune in. Um... But anyway, so that's everything for now. I'm going down to every lake. I need someone to hug. Oh, come here. I'm just going to hug my little dress for him. That's my miniature one. There's a full life one size over there. Anyway, so I'll talk to you later. So wave bye. Oh, she didn't have any arms. 